you know that to live life based on the judgment of your five senses only is to live a limited life. <laughs> and sadly, many people are living limited lives. Stay tuned. You are not your body. I am not my body. God has created and fashioned us in such a way that we are just living in our body, but we are spirit beings. This means that to live life and not be in touch with your inside, with your spirit man, is to live a dead life. God has created us in such a way that we live our best lives when we live from inside out. People who realize this truth are not moved by what they see, what they hear, what they smell, or anything as related to their five senses. They are not moved by their environment. In fact, people who have this truth, they change their environment. They dominate them. These are the people that literally have the dominion that was spoken about in Genesis chapter 1. When you realize that this is not who you are, you are your spirit man. You take charge of your situations, of your environment, of the things you see, of the things you hear in the spirit. That's why Jesus said that when you believe, you will see the glory of God. This means that when you settle it in your spirit man, you will see it on the outside. This is why the Bible says that to be carnally minded is dead, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life. Many people are living only by their five senses. When they see something, they panic. When they hear something, they are in trouble. People who are ruled by their body and their five senses are never in control of anything. And psychologists have told us that literally that the happiest people on earth are people who have a sense of control when you are spiritually minded you have a sense of control you're not a victim of your environment you're not a victim of the things you hear you're not a victim of the things you see instead you are a controller the CEO the director the chief commander of everything that is happening around you and you can go into the spirit realm and make things happen you're not depressed you're not suicidal you're not thinking about taking your life as a result of the things that people do to you or what they say to you or the opinions that definitions of people about you. Instead, you take charge in the spirit realm as a result of your being in touch with the spirit of God on your inside. And this is what I've got for you on today's episode of Motor Vitality. I believe this reach episode and this reach part two of the Inside Out has blessed you so much. If it has, kindly share it with someone right away. And of course, if you're watching this and you're saying, Samuel, you've got to talk more about this in my church. So my youth or that event I'm putting together, all you have to do right now is to go onto the link on your screen, samuelacondown.com slash speaking. You find a link there to a form to book me for that event of yours and anywhere all over the world, I'll be more than happy to be of blessing to you. Thank you very much once again for watching this episode of Motor Vitality. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.